It's Treachy. Treachy Travels. Uh, Trey and me, T Traveling. Treachy Channel, roll the scene. Greenery and palm trees, blog it so y'all see. Trey and me, T Traveling. Treachy Channel, roll the scene. Greenery and palm trees, blog it so y'all see. Trey and me, T Traveling. Treachy Channel, roll the scene. Greenery and palm trees, blog it so y'all see. Trey and me, T Traveling. Treachy Channel, roll the scene. Greenery and palm trees, blog it so y'all see. Cheers, Treaty Travelers. Cheers. Welcome back to Treaty Travels. On this episode, we are doing a Harry Potter store New York haul. We got a bunch of different items, so stay tuned to see what we got. So we'll start with this tote bag that we got. This tote bag was $4 and we got it at checkout so that we can put all the stuff that we got in here. And as you can see, it has the Marauders map design on it, which was designed by Mina Lima. So this is really cool. So let's see what we have in here. When you're in the store, they just have like a bag that you can carry around. So you don't get these until the end. Yeah. So the first item is this nice Hufflepuff shirt. This one is really cool. We're both Hufflepuffs. I got this one for my dad. The material is super thick and soft and the print on it is really nice as well. It's good quality. It really stands out. It's a good print. And Helga Hufflepuff was in charge of her magic with food. She was known for a lot of the feasts that took place at Hogwarts. In the Great Hall. This shirt, which is a Hogwarts emblem shirt. This is a really nice shirt because it's really unique. Typically when you get a shirt like this at a random place like Target or whatever, they're a lot thinner and more flimsy. This shirt is really good quality and the logo is just so beautiful. And this shirt was $30, so, so you guys have an idea of how much that was. Most shirts I believe are around $30 for men at least. Hogwarts Railways. This shirt's really nice as well. And this one is a bit different than the other ones. This one's like thinner. It's more of a feminine style shirt. So I really like this one. And you don't really see Hogwarts Railways shirts. I feel like this is one of the very few ones I've seen. A cool fact is only 20% of the merchandise is on their website. There's 80% more merchandise in the New York City store than is on their website. So there's a lot of different merchandise to yes. choose from. So whatever house you are, you are definitely gonna find something that you like. Trey got these shorts. They're Hufflepuff shorts. I've never seen any Hufflepuff shorts anywhere. Usually it's just shirts that you find or sweaters. Yeah, it's a nice comfortable yeah, quality. The, the inside is super soft and warm. I really like this one. So these are caramel cobwebs. Uh, we'll give them a try in a little bit. What did you get? I got chocolate frogs that comes in a tin can and this brings the chocolate frog, I'll show you, a really huge chocolate frog in the bag and then it also brings these cards so they're like reflective so they move when you move them like this four founders of Hogwarts and Albus Dumbledore which is the headmaster on the backs of the cards you get to read some facts about the founders and about Dumbledore things that made them famous and what they were known for which is really cool take a look at how nice the tin can is it's really like sturdy so like you can keep this and like put anything you want in it it's really cool all right, so now that the wrapping's off, this is what it looks like. Cobwebs or caramel flavored bites. We got this in Honeydukes. Oh, it's indestructible. Okay. It's nice and thin. They say caramel, but it looks more like white chocolate, so we'll see. I guess let's bite into it and find out. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Mm, it's a little mixture of both, I feel like. A little caramel hint. It does taste a little bit like caramel. Almost has like a fudgy texture to it. Yeah. It's like a nice thin treat. I like it. It's good. Sweet, but it's good. Crunchy. I feel like this would be good just throwing it in my coffee to flavor it. It's mm. good. I like it. So I'm going to take a little bite of my chocolate frog. Right. So here's what the chocolate frog looks like. And in the movies, as you guys know, these jump, right? Some, yeah. of, some of them jump. It's in the first movie, right? When on the cart? The trolley cart or something. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna break off his foot and try his foot. Mmm. Like it? Yeah. I don't like chocolate, so I'm not gonna try it. Yeah, it's good quality chocolate. Milk chocolate. It's really good. I'm definitely gonna eat that throughout many days. Delicious. Next up, we have this small bag. This is what their 
regular bags look like. They, they're five cents, right? Yeah, they're five cents per bag, and this is um, printed as the Daily Profit. Show the back on. And on the other side, it says the Wizarding World Harry Potter New York. So these bags are unique to the New York store, which is really awesome. First up, we have this little box which has an Alex and Annie bracelet in it and here is the bracelet this is the Hermione Alex and Annie which is what are all the charms on it charms that it has is Hermione's cat Crookshanks it has a book which I believe is Hogwarts a history and then it has a little poly juice potion bottle. So this bracelet is specifically designed for the character of Hermione. And it's a nice rose gold color, which I really liked. This is the only one that was this color. All the other ones were silver. Some stickers that you can place on anything that you want. Next, we got some keychains. So next I got some keychains. This is the Time Turner that Dumbledore gave to Hermione in The Prisoner of Azkaban to save Buckbeak. Let's use the time turner to go back in time and save Buckbeak. And there he is. Look how cute he is. This is Buckbeak. We got him there in the magical creatures section of the store. That's where all the stuffed animals are, the plush. They had Fox the Phoenix. They had Picket. They had um, Fang, which is Hagrid's dog. Dobby. Dobby, they Much had more. Edwig, Aragog, Aragog, yeah, they had and all the magical creatures and uh, stuffed animal form like this. This one's so cute. This was my favorite one. And the second keychain I got was this butterbeer, this butterbeer keychain, and this butterbeer um, logo was designed by Mina Lima is specifically for the Harry Potter store in New York. So you can only get this there. And this is also the same logo that comes on the reusable cups that you can get when you are at the Butterbeer Bar. But unfortunately, they were out of those reusable cups for two months and they're gonna get them soon, hopefully. So if you do end up going and you don't get a cup, don't be so disappointed. That'll just be a reason to return. Up next, we have this other tote bag that we got. This is designed as Hogwarts Castle. You can see the kids coming in on the boats the yeah. first year. Like down here, the kids are on the boats as they do when it's their first year at Hogwarts with Hagrid. So let's see what we have in this bag. First up, we have this Slytherin shirt color really stands out the silver on the green yeah this one's really nice it has the snake on it this one's for my sister's fiance soon to be husband by the time they see this video they should have the gift so yeah it shouldn't be a problem yeah and he's a Slytherin so that's why we got him this one and for Ashley we got the same shirt but, but she's Gryffindor. a Gryffindor yeah so this Gryffindor shirt is really nice as well red and gold which are the Gryffindor colors. The pink of his tongue really stands out. Yeah. Cool. It's designed really well. These shirts have like all, like really good logos on them. Yeah, the print is quality. Yeah. It has the lion on there. Moon and the star. Nice. This one's really nice. I really like this one. We have these butterbeer bottles that we got there at the store. It's two different uh, logos. So this logo is the Mina Lima logo that they designed for the Harry Potter store for the Butterbeer Bar. And this logo is the Makuza logo, which yes. is the magical... The Ministry of Magic of the... Of the USA. Yes. So you can see it has red, white, and blue, stars and stripes. It says New York City on it. And it says New York City on it, yeah. So it's cool that you got two different options to choose from. Should we try one? Yeah, let's give it a try. You can also buy the butter beer in four packs if you want a little extra. So that's what we did. We got the four pack. You can see the design. The packaging is really nice. The colors stand out. It's got that butter beer New York logo. 
yeah, it's really nice and they're nice and cold right now because we have them in the fridge. Should we give one a try? Yeah, let's give it a try. And if you didn't know, butterbeer is a butterscotch uh, soda pretty much. Yes, and we did have the butterbeer at the New York store, so I guess we can compare it to this and see how different it is. The main difference is the butterbeer at the store comes with foam. Yeah, and this one obviously doesn't come with foam. So it's, I heard it's pretty much the same thing just without the foam. You want to, let's crack it open. Ladies first. Cheers. Bottoms up. Is it good? This is so good. This is really, really good. Which one's better? <laughs> Try it. Oh my goodness. Oh. I've, this is my first time trying bottled butter It's beer. different out of, the, out of the bottle, but it, it, like a different feeling drinking out of the bottle yeah, because you're not drinking out of a plastic cold. cup. When you get it out of like the tap, like out of a tap when you're at the butter beer bar, it's not as cold as this one. The glass of this keeps it really cold. Yeah, the flavor is strong and the carbonation, I feel like, is really strong. Mm. It just tingles my tongue. It's so good. It's good. It's I good. wish I had gotten more. I wish we would have gotten more. Yeah. We should have got like three more packs. Another excuse to come back. Yeah, definitely get a, get some uh, butter beer to go if you guys go to the Harry Potter store. You won't regret it. Yeah. So in this bag, we got some personalized items. So when you're at the personalization station at the store, you drop off what you want to get personalized and then they'll tell you to come back in like an hour, an hour and a half, and then um, you can pick up your stuff. And so they get it done pretty quickly and then they put a tag on your bag so that in case like you're, you, want, you don't want to come back right as soon as they send you an email and you want to wait a little bit longer, they'll, they'll still hold it there for you. So let's take a look in here and let's see what we got. So we got Tri-Wizard jerseys, obviously Hufflepuff because we're Hufflepuffs. And then let's show them what we personalized it with. So mine says Michi. Mine says Tea Ready. Yeah, and then these are so cool. Look how comfy they look. And this is really unique because I haven't seen this Triwizard jersey anywhere. Not even at the Universal store. Yeah, and the front it has all the houses on here. Yeah, it has the, the Hogwarts crest. And I got mine in a size large because they only had a large or extra large. So here's what our shirts look like on. They're so comfy. It's like soft cotton. Yeah, that's a nice shirt. That's well. Yeah. Here's a little extra because they didn't have... They didn't, yeah, they didn't have my size. I would have got like a small. But I don't mind because I like my clothes fitting a little loose sometimes. I also just noticed the four pack, like you need a bottle opener, this is a twist off. Oh, that's cool. Good morning. How do you like it? It's good, I like it. Thanks for watching our haul. We hope you guys go to the Harry Potter store in New York and we hope you guys have fun. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment down below what kind of videos you'd like to see next. Ooh, Harry Potter store, ooh, exclusive merch too, Tennessee's in our view, that trip's coming soon, stars and